guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out the new makeup and skincare that I got from Sephora. So if you guys did not see my last video, I shopped at Sephora and I got a few things. And in this video, I wanted to try it out. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna briefly show you guys everything that I have to try out today. And I'm also gonna be doing my own makeup as well on top of this, cause I don't have a full face of makeup here. So I'm obviously gonna be adding some of my products in here as well. First thing I got is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Chocolate Mascara. I am super excited about this because I tried on my friend's just regular brown mascara and I really liked the way it looked on me. So I don't know if I'm now gonna be a brown mascara girl from here on out, but we'll see. I'm, I don't really think I'm gonna be trying this in this video, but I also got the Sol de Janeiro pink cream. I was gonna put it on my arms, but I'm wearing a long sleeve, so I don't really think we're gonna be doing that. I got the Tower 28 Lip Balm or the Milky Lip Jelly in Almond and I heard a bunch of good things about that as well. Next up, I'm gonna be trying the Milk Makeup Highlighter in the shade Turnt. I saw this in Sephora and I had to get it. The shade was so pretty. And as you guys know, I absolutely love Milk Makeup's contour stick. So hopefully I like the highlight just as much. Next up, this is super random, but I'm the most excited to try this. I'm actually gonna open it because I did not open it. I waited for you guys to try all of these makeup products, so they've just kind of been sitting in my room before me trying them. Um, is this even <laughs> the right thing? Oh, I think I got the wrong makeup brush. Is it? <laughs> it definitely is. I mean, it said it was for contour. Oh, I guess I can kind of blend it out. Okay, well, we'll see. This is the Makeup by Mario F2 brush. I think I definitely got the wrong one, but am I gonna go take it back? Absolutely not. We're gonna work with what we have. And then next, I'm gonna be trying out the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops. I've been seeing this in Sephora for so long and every time I just never get it, but I've always been thinking about it. Same thing with this one. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Lip Balm. This is in the shade Raspberry. I know I have two lip products here, but I think we're just gonna try them both out just because I wanna see which one I like the best. And this, again, I've been wanting this for months, but I just never decided to get it. Next couple things, this is super random. It's the Sephora Shape and Set Clear Brow Gel. I've been needing a clear brow gel for so long and I just didn't really wanna spend too much money on it because I feel like they all kind of do the same thing. And then I also have the Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid. This is for no normal to oily combination skin. My skin is more on the drier side. I still wanna try it out. I don't really know if my review on it is gonna be that accurate or not, considering the fact that my skin is dry so I won't be able to give it a clear judgment, but it's SPF 50. And I like that a lot. I like to use a higher SPF on my face. Every time I see an SPF of like 30 or something, I just feel like it doesn't do anything. I could be wrong, so if I am, someone correct me. This top that I'm wearing is so tight, I can barely even move my arms and it like moves in like weird places. Okay, so the first thing we're trying out is the Paula's Choice Hydrating Fluid. I guess it's just like a sunscreen. Oh, it is a sunscreen. Oh, okay, so I guess I can use this. What? Okay, that's really cool. I thought it was just like literally sunscreen. I wish they would have just like wrote it on there rather than youth extending daily hydrating fluid. Just like at that point, write sunscreen <laughs> because that's like what it is. But okay, that makes me feel better then I guess because I thought this was like some moisturizer or something meant for oily skin, but if it's just sunscreen, I really don't care that much. I like how thin it is. A lot of sunscreens that I've tried on are super thick and I, I don't hate it, I don't love it, but I really like the formula of that. That's actually not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a few minutes before I put on anything else because I like to let the sunscreen kind of soak into my skin. Hello? Oh my god, another spam, are you serious? But yeah, I'm gonna give this a few minutes. I will be right back when it's kind of sunken into my skin a little more. I decided to make a coffee, but I'm pretty sure the sunscreen has already kind of soaked into my skin. So let's go ahead and get into the Glow Recipe Blur Drops. 
I'm definitely gonna spill my coffee more. So we're gonna put her somewhere else so I don't spill. Okay, how cute. I love the packaging. Yeah, I guess uh, maybe I should put it like that actually. Hmm. Did it blur? I don't know. My skin feels more smooth. I guess it did do something. My skin definitely feels more even. Yeah, I actually feel like it did do something. It like had to take a minute for it to like kind of soak in, but I do feel like my skin is extremely smooth. It does add a tiny, tiny little bit of a glow, but it's more of a matte glow, if that makes sense. I guess the real way to kind of test this out is seeing what it looks like with makeup on top of it. So, okay, so for concealer today, we're gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury concealer. As you guys know, I absolutely love this concealer. It's so good and it blends flawlessly. And we're also gonna be using the NARS Creamy Radiant. Then my NARS one is a little bit darker, so that's why I'm gonna mix these two together. And we're gonna be blending that out with my Beauty Blender. And the match on my skin is really good. Uh, it might be a little dark, actually. I take that back. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of dark. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal whatsoever. Okay, so yeah, moving on. Now we're gonna do the contour. I'm so excited about this. Since I already have another milk product that I'm using in this video, I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup, Milk? The Milk Makeup Contour. This, I love, you guys already know, it's so good. I'm actually kind of upset. This is definitely the wrong brush. Can one of you guys tell me if this is the right brush that I'm using? I mean, it's kind of too late now. This is... <laughs> okay, maybe it's working. <laughs> oh, actually, maybe it is. Okay. But where did it go, though? Where did she go? Did this bronze up my face, you guys? Can any of you tell? But yeah, um, the brush is actually really soft. I like that. Um, I feel like that did something, right? It didn't like disappear into the brush completely. Maybe, okay, maybe I need more. But yeah, it actually makes it blend a lot better. And I actually don't hate it. Uh, I don't know if I would spend the 30 bucks on this brush. I don't know what differentiates it. It's good enough. I just, I don't know, I kind of regret getting this brush. I feel like I wish I got a different one or like the say one or something else. Okay, moving on. We're gonna be doing some blush now. And I love blush. Blush is my favorite. And I think I'm gonna use, I have two blushes that I'm obsessed with. You guys already know I love the Milani one, but I'm also obsessed with this Merit blush. I love the raspberry shades like this. I dropped it, so it's kind of, kind of has like a little dent in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I've been really into like the raspberry kind of blush shades. They're so cute. Yeah, the skin is actually looking super nice. I'm really liking this. It's not super glowy or anything, which is sometimes what I do prefer. A nice glowy base is nice, but sometimes I overdo it and I just look wet rather than like glowy and radiant and you know, normal. So yeah, I'm obsessed with how the skin looks. It looks super clean, super natural. I love that. And now we're gonna be trying on the Milk um, Highlight. So I see a lot of people just go ahead and take off this cap, but I just know you have to like kind of do that and like twist it up a little bit and then it just comes off. Let's see how this looks. Let's try again. <laughs> this reminds me a lot already of the Glossier Halo Scope. If you guys know what I'm talking about, when Glossier was like the biggest trend in the world, everyone was getting it and like the, that's when like, I guess the glowy natural makeup started coming into trend more. And this reminds me a lot of that. I was expecting a little more, but it's definitely cute for a nice natural glow. And I think that's actually kind of the point of it. So I can't really like judge it and say that it's not as luminous as I want it to be because I just think the point of it is to add a glow rather than like a shine or a sparkle, which is like what other highlighters do. 
I actually like this. Okay, I was really quick to judge this at first, but yeah, it just kind of depends on what you're going for, honestly. Like I said, if you want something natural, definitely go with this, but if you're more of like a blinding highlighter kind of person, definitely don't get this, but I can definitely see like the whole kind of point behind this. This is pretty. <gasps> yeah, I really like this. I'm gonna put a little bit under my brow bone just because. It doesn't look overwhelming or anything and that's what I like. I think that's really cute. Okay, next up, we're gonna be trying the Sephora brow gel. I really don't see a lot of people try out the, the Sephora or the Ulta store makeup brands and I think it would be super fun to just do a video on that where I try a full face of makeup from Sephora but from their brand. I mean, I've not really tried a lot of clear brow gels in the past, so I really cannot give it my honest opinion. This reminds me of the e.l.f. one. You know the one that's like $3 at Target and it has a double-sided one and it's clear. You can use it for brows or mascara. I feel like my brows are set. It doesn't feel sticky or anything, which is what I like. It doesn't feel like my brows are like stuck to my face with glue or anything, but it kind of tamed them in a way. I think that's like my best description of that. There's not really anything special about it, but then again, it was like 11 bucks from Sephora. So I don't know, what do I know? Next up, we're gonna be trying the Too Faced Better Than Sex Chocolate Mascara. I've been waiting the whole video to try this out. I cannot wait. I remember trying out this mascara in like high school and I remember, I think I loved it if I'm remembering the right one but we're gonna curl our lashes here so we can get the most accurate description, description, first impression of this. So for some reason, I remember it being more, more, like I remember it being more or less natural, if that makes sense. I remember it being like more thicker, more lengthening after three coats. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put on three coats and see how that looks. But I do love the brown though. I really love the brown. And it's just, it's something different, you know? Like I do my makeup the same every single day. Having a brown mascara though, that's kind of a game changer. Yeah, they definitely do give more volume, but I noticed the volume more than the length in this mascara. Whereas my Bad Gal Bang mascara from Benefit is definitely more both or if anything, more length. This is the base. You can see the glow from the highlight right here. And then it obviously didn't make my lashes too long, but you know, you win some, you lose some, I guess. Okay, so I did kind of cheat a little bit, but I did put just one tiny coat of the Bad Gal Bang on top. You can definitely still see the brown, but it's a darker brown. And that's what I think I like better. I do like the darker brown rather than like the lighter shade of brown on me. Now for the final couple things I'm gonna try, the lip products. I'm gonna try both of them just so you guys can get my honest review. Obviously, take my reviews with a grain of salt. Everything that works for me is what works for me and that may or may not work for you guys. But yeah, let's go ahead and try out the Tower 28 one first. Ooh, I love that. Oh my God, I know someone in my comments recommended me this and you are amazing for doing that. I've been wanting to try this for a while, but if it wasn't for that comment, I would not have gotten it just because I always need something to kind of motivate me or like push me to buy something. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and clean off the edges. I guess you only need a little bit of this. I kind of over applied. I love that. It makes my lips super soft. It doesn't feel like sticky or anything. It's more thin and I like that. Wow, okay, yeah, I'm impressed. That is definitely something that's gonna be getting carried around in my bag all day. Okay, my lips are now cleaned off. Let's go ahead and try out the Maracuja. This, I'm excited. This better be good. If this is not good, I'll be disappointed. Consistency wise, this is definitely a little thicker. The color for my lips, I don't really wear lip colors. If anything, it's a slight tin. Yeah, this is a lot thicker, a lot less glossy. Yeah, this is cute too. I like this one as well. But honestly, 
I'm definitely gonna have to say the Tower 28 one takes the crown. What if I mix them? We're gonna try that. Yeah, they look really good when they're mixed together. I like that shade a lot. I'm not used to wearing colors on my lips, like I said. I'm definitely a clear lip gloss kind of girl just because I feel like colors on my lips don't really look that good. I don't know. You guys let me know if it looks good or not. I trust your guys' opinion. Okay, so that was definitely successful. My makeup looks incredibly natural, especially because I don't really have anything on my brows besides from just the clear brow gel. I obviously use the tinted one since my eyebrow hair is super light. I feel like it's kind of too light for my hair and like my face and stuff, but that's not really a big deal. I'm trying to get used to it more. But yeah, I really like my makeup. This is super natural, but I have kind of a lot on. Not like a lot, but like closer to a full face than a not full face. Definitely by using this primer, my skin looks more even more one texture, definitely really smooth. As far as the mascara, this is good, but I feel like I remember loving it a little more than I do. Maybe it could be just because I haven't used it in a while or I don't know, but I feel like I can kind of get the same thing at the drugstore. Uh, the Milk Makeup Stick, this I loved. I think it's super cute for a natural glow. The two lip products, I love these both. I personally prefer the Tower 28 one, like I said. It's just more creamy and it's not sticky at all on your lips. And this one, definitely a thicker formula and the color is super vibrant. So it's more of like a lipstick lip gloss. This is just like a lip gloss. But I'm definitely gonna be pairing these a lot together just because I like the way that they look. The sunscreen from Paula's Choice. I feel like a lot of the sunscreens kind of just work the same for me. It didn't really do anything. It didn't really enhance my skin, didn't not enhance my skin. It's just, it's just basic sunscreen. Like I said, I absolutely love how thin it is. It's not a super thick formula like a lot of other sunscreens I've tried. So definitely gonna be repurchasing that. The brush from Makeup by Mario. I liked this brush. It definitely did a good job of blending, but I feel like a lot of other brushes you can kind of get the same from. I don't know. I thought like getting a higher end makeup brush was gonna be something revolutionary, but I feel like you can just kind of find any brush to blend it out with. That's my opinion. Nothing against Makeup by Mario. I really wanna try more makeup products by him just because all of their products look amazing and I really want to try out the contour stick the most. But yeah, I absolutely love this. This is definitely a different look for me. I'm obviously more used to the bolder look for my eyes, but I'm not complaining. I like it a lot. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to do more of these because Trying out new products, trying out new makeup, skincare, whatever it is, is so much fun to me. I seriously enjoy it so much. But yeah, you guys, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye.